In our field, we explore how technology can be used to enhance learning and performance in its simplest terms. For us, that means teaching or preparing teachers to use technology in their classroom and also developing educational games or modules that can be used to enhance learning in the classroom. One area that we're particularly excited about is using robotics to teach math and science. So for the younger children, we let them work with the Lego We Do kit, which is a, a very, very well-designed robotics kit for kids to do programming, engineering, and also to work with simple machines. When a child is presented with an activity in this kit, there's an animation that sets up the activity. So they have a good um, sort of hook getting them into the activity. And then it guides them through the building process. So they actually do the building and engineering and then the programming, and then they can interact with their model. So it's very, very, uh, very effective for kids from kindergarten on up. We've actually used it from kindergarten all the way up through middle school age kids. And still, even middle school can learn a lot by using this kit for doing introductory robotics. The outcome is very exciting. Kids are very excited about doing robotics. Whenever we advertise robotics programs, they fill up within hours. The major thing with the students is he takes his research into the classroom. Whether it's robotics or his educational video games, he involves the students in this process. He involves the students in, the, involves students in his camps, robotics camps, so they're getting firsthand, you know, hands-on uh, experience working with them so they can uh, introduce that to their students when they're out teaching. We knew early on that in order for our students to get good experience practicing teaching with technology that we needed them to actually work with children, you know, hands-on with technology and children. And to do that, we started a Saturday program where we bring 60 to 100 kids on campus uh, every semester. And so for two consecutive Saturdays, our education majors work with kids doing robotics, uh, working through different challenges. So by doing this, the kids, you know, have a good time, they have an engaging activity, which engages them in problem solving and um, critical thinking. And the best thing is our education majors have a wonderful opportunity to practice teaching with technology. So my other role is developing educational games. And we have a large team that actually works on this. So as you might imagine, developing a game requires skills from different areas, art, programming, instructional design, which is the educational piece, um, and programming. So it takes a large team to do it, but um, the purpose of it is to try to create engaging learning environments for kids, ones that they'll find very stimulating, and also to try to find ways to make it easier to simplify or reduce the friction that might be involved in integrating technology into a classroom. One of the ways that Doug has exemplified his research and scholarship is by procuring $3.9 million worth of grants, both national and state and the products he puts out as a result of those grants um, are really commendable. We're definitely influenced by the belief that learning should be hands-on, it should be authentic. It's our belief that first that kids learn by doing and that as much as possible we should give them an authentic task to do so that task should be consistent with what experts would do in that field of study. And additionally we provide them the same tools that those experts would do. And those things we can accomplish in a virtual environment, such as on the iPad or computer, these types of games that we're developing. For me, receiving this war award was quite an honor. And um, for me, it's really a validation of our team because all of the work that I do involves other people. So to me, it represents having bright, very creative, passionate people to work with here at UL and also at other universities, and also having the resources to do the work that we do. In the academy, there are three main pillars, teaching, research, and service. He excels in all three. This is a very humble man who is so busy doing his work, he's not looking for the accolades or the, or the uh, awards. Um, it took us many times for him to, to, to put forth his application for this award, this Distinguished Professor Award. And we are all very pleased that he has been honored in such a way. I really love my work. At for me, to see a child learn something new is very exciting. I, I, I remember from early on, just one of my children, the first time they learned something new, any parent has that experience where they see they have a pocket and they can put something in it, or, or when a child programs a robot for the first time, they get very excited about it. That's very exciting for us.